Welcome to the TikTok retargeting masterclass. By the end of this video, you are going to understand everything that you need to know about TikTok retargeting. We're going to be talking about how to set up TikTok retargeting best practices and everything else in between so that by the end of this video, you are going to go from beginner to advanced when it comes to TikTok retargeting. TikTok retargeting is a strategy that I've seen work across many different accounts multiple different times and can be very, very lucrative when done right. And so I hope that you find value in this video. We're going to jump right in. So when it comes to TikTok retargeting, Targeting, there are four steps. A lot of times people overthink this, but I want to break it down into four very simple steps for you. The first step is to select your audience type. The second step is to set up your audience sources. The third step is to define your audience. And the fourth step is to add your audiences to your ad group. Now, before we do jump into this, I do want to briefly go over what TikTok retargeting is in case you are a little bit new to this space in a very simple term. So when it comes to TikTok retargeting, why it's so powerful is what we like to do is let's say that this is me right here, Corbin. Uh, and I go to either see one of your TikToks on your profile or I visit your website. What we're doing with this strategy is we are taking the data from everybody who came to our website or visited our TikTok profile or what other data source that we want to use. And we are putting them all in a bucket. These are people who are aware of our business. They've either visited our website, seen our uh, content on TikTok or on our email list, different things like that. And we want to show ads to these people. And typically because these people are familiar with your business, they typically have a higher return on ad spend and you're able to get more sales or more leads for your ad dollars. And that's a very basic rundown of TikTok remarketing and what we're going to be setting up. So the very first step is to select our audience type. Now, in order to select your audience type, you do need to have a TikTok ads account. If you don't already have a TikTok ads account, I encourage you to check out the link down below. I actually have a partnership with TikTok where if you use this link down below, you can get a $500 credits when you spend $500 in your TikTok ad account. So basically a free $500. Um, you can go through and claim that offer by clicking the link down below when you sign up for your TikTok ads account. Once you've gone through and created that, you're going to be taken to a profile that looks something like this, a page that looks something like this inside of your dashboard. And inside of the TikTok ads manager, what I want you to do is hover over to this tool section and then click on audience manager. Once you click on the audience manager, it's going to take you to a view that looks something like this. Chances are you won't have audiences already created in here. There will be a blank slate. What we need to do first is to select our audience type. So if we click here, create audience and then custom audiences, and once you click here, you can see that there are actually eight different audience types that you can target. We're going to be going over all of these briefly, but there are three of them in particular that I think most people watching this video will be using that I'm going to take a deeper dive into. And those three specifically are going to be right here. You can see this is our step one audience type. Here's the eight different ones. The three most common ones that I see used is the lead generation, the engagement and the website traffic. And lately more and more people are starting to use this shop activity audience type as well. So let's briefly go through these eight different audience types. So you have an idea of what is possible when it comes to TikTok retargeting. So the first one that we have here is the customer file. Now this is, is exactly what it sounds like. This is taking a CSV or a TXT file from your email list or from a purchase list, something like that, and uploading it into TikTok. The second one here that we have is app activity. This is remarketing to anybody who has taken specific actions inside of your app. And the next one is lead generation. This is going to be remarketing to people who either viewed or filled out a form on your lead generation ads inside of TikTok. These are people who have actually filled out forms or viewed forms on your TikTok ads, specifically using the lead generation action. The next one is shop activity. And this is one that I have been using quite a bit lately as TikTok shops have really started to gain in popularity and seeing really good results with that. This is remarking to people who have in interacted with your TikTok shops. The next one is engagement. And this is probably one of the most popular ones, especially if you have a TikTok profile that gets views and things like that. This is remarketing to anybody who has viewed a specific video or anybody who's engaged with any of your content on TikTok. The sixth one here is the website traffic objective. This is remarketing to anybody who has gone through onto your website and completed a specific action, whether it's a page view, add to cart, purchase, anything like that, you can remark it to those specific people. And then the last two is to remarket to people who have interacted with your business account on TikTok. And the last one is offline activity, which is one that I rarely see used because it is a little bit more of a setup process, but I did want you to be aware of that one as well. So at this point, it's up to you to decide which kind of remarketing audience you want to select and how you want to remarket to those people. Now, depending on which objective you select, you are going to have to have an audience source. And what the audience source is a way for you to collect that data on that user and feed those back into the ads. 
So what I mean by this is you can see this is a little cheat sheet and I'll leave a link to this down below as well if you want to get access to something like this. You can see if you're going with the customer file objective, then your audience source, you need to have a CSV or a TXT file with all those customers that you want to remarket to. If you're doing the lead generation, then you need to have lead generation forms created and send traffic to those. If you want to remarket on the shop activity, you need to have a TikTok shop set up. And then if you are running with engagement, you do need to have TikTok ads or videos from your TikTok account linked to your TikTok ad account. And if you are wanting to remarket to your website traffic, you do need to have the TikTok pixel installed. If you wanted to do the business account remarketing, you need to have a TikTok business account and then offline activity, API partner integrations or manual upload. Now, chances are for a lot of people, these sources are already gonna be set up depending on how your TikTok ad account was set up. But if you aren't sure if the source that you're wanting to use for your marketing is set up or not, all you need to do is come back over to the TikTok ads account. And let's take, for instance, this shop activity here. Let's say that I wanted to retarget to people who are visiting my TikTok shop. If I click over here and I go to the shop activity, you're gonna see here there's this option for in the following shop and there's gonna be a drop down. If you click this drop down and you are not seeing your store inside of here, that means that your TikTok shop is either not set up or your TikTok shop isn't connected to your ads account. So you'd have to go through and get those connected. If you do see your store in this drop down right here, then you can go through and select that. And then same thing with a lot of these other objectives. If you come in here, for instance, if you come into the engagement and you notice that there are no ad groups in this, or if you come into the web traffic, for instance, and you go through the following pixel and you'll see if you click this down and there are no pixel options, that means that the pixel either isn't installed or it isn't connected to your ads account. So you have to go through and do those things. Now, if you aren't sure how to set up your specific source, don't worry. I've created tutorials on basically how to set up all of these different sources. You can check those out in the description down below. I just don't want to go over every single one in this video because it would make it too long and not applicable for a lot of people because just depending on which path you want to take, it's going to be a little bit different. So check out those resources down below. Leave me a comment if you have any questions on those. I'm here to help with this process. So now that we have selected our audience type, we have our audience source set up. The next thing to do is actually go through and define our audiences. And in order to do that, we come back over here and we go to our create custom. Let me start with this engagement inside of here because this is gonna be one that a lot of people are going to be doing. So we're gonna click inside of engagement and inside of here, there's a little drop down here that I want people to realize. There are two different asset types that you can retarget in this engagement. You can either target specific ad groups from your ads that are currently running or you can click this down and target specific videos from your TikTok account. So you can see all the public videos or live videos and then you can go through and select a specific account. Let's go through and select this one right here. So then from here, I can go through and select a video on my TikTok account. Let's go through and click on this one right here. And then I can select the action that I want to retarget people to. So here, let's say that I wanted to view the video for two seconds, six seconds, viewed 100% of the video or liked, commented, shared on the video. So for this example, I want to make sure that I'm getting the people who are most interested in this. So I'm gonna do 100%. And then from here, you can do in the last seven days, 14 days or 30 days. We're gonna do 30 days here. And then next is an optional thing that you can do. You can go through and add rules here to either broaden or narrow your audience. To be honest, most of the time I do not use these rules here, but I did want to make sure that you are aware of them in case you wanted to use them. So if you broaden, then it's going to say, okay, or people who have gone through and let's say interacted with this specific video, let's say people who viewed this video 100% or people that have viewed another one of these videos, let's say this one right here, 100% as well. And then now I'm remarketing to anybody who's viewed two of these videos inside of here. So over the last 30 days, and you can do the same thing to narrow it and exclude audiences in that fashion as well. Now, the last thing is to go through and give this audience a name. So you want to be as descriptive as possible with these names so that you know what these audiences are. So I'm going to call this free tools, add video view, 100%. So I'm just as descriptive as possible on this particular ad. And then from here, this little auto refresh button, this is refresh your audience automatically to view the latest user data. You wanna keep this on because what that's gonna do is every 30 days, this is going to keep updating the audience. If you don't have this checked, then it's just gonna do the last 30 days and it's gonna keep those people in the same cohort. So I always recommend keeping this checked and then leave that unchecked if frequency and reach, not something you really need to worry about too often. And then we can go through and hit confirm. And then from this point, you're gonna notice that it is going to populate that audience up here in this top right-hand corner. Right now, it is going to say unavailable because the data is processing. You can see here that typically you need to wait up to 24 hours before your audience has enough data to go through and process. Now, it's important to note at this point that the size of your audience needs to be at least a thousand people in order to remarket to that audience. So you can see here, I have gone through and created a couple of different test audiences, one that has over 15,000 users on the size. And you can see that audience is available right now. But then I went through and created two other ones 
And you can see that these are currently not big enough to run remarketing audiences to. So that's something to keep in mind when you are building these. And that's where the function of this broad, using the broaden to like add more videos or more topics into your audience can be really useful. Now I wanna show you one more example here on a common use case for this, and that is remarketing to people who have visited your website. If you click in here, you can see it's a very similar view. You can go through and retarget to people who have taken specific actions. So any of these specific actions, as long as your pixel is collecting that data, you can do the same thing in the past 30, 60, 90 days. And then you have to go through and select the specific pixel that you are wanting to do that data from. Now, if you wanted to go through and exclude data, so say that you wanted to remarket to people and who have visited your page in the last 30 days, but then go through and exclude people who have completed a payment. That is a very common audience to do, especially inside of e-commerce, so that you are hitting anybody who's visited your website but hasn't completed a payment in the last 30 days. And then I would go through and name this like, hit site, didn't 30 days, something like that. And then you can go through and save that and confirm that data. And once again, it will begin populating inside of the dashboard. So now you can see we've gone through and selected our targeting action. We've decided on the target date range, either seven, 14, 30 days. We've gone through and I showed you how to add the audience overlays to broaden or narrow your audiences. We talked about naming your audiences. And the next thing that you can do with these audiences is create lookalike audiences. Now, this isn't something that I'm gonna to get to in this video. Be sure to subscribe if you want a tutorial on how to do this, because I will be creating future tutorials on this. But I do want to let you know that this, there is an option to do that here. Basically, you would come over here to the TikTok ads, and then from any of these audiences, you can create a lookalike. But like I said, I want to focus 100% of this video on retargeting. So we are now done with step three. We've gone through and defined our audiences. I encourage you to spend as much time as you need to in this dashboard, creating as many audiences as you want to test and go through and build. And don't be afraid to create these exact same audiences, but maybe do hit site and didn't convert last 14 days, last seven days. When I'm creating a new account, typically I'll go through and make a lot of these audiences and just have them building and populating. That way when I wanna build that campaign, I don't need to wait 24 hours. So you can see here, this is one that I built before this tutorial to make sure it was available when we got into the account. So this page view last 30 days because it is available, I'll show you exactly how to now run this as an ad. So what you're gonna wanna do is come over here. You can either click on this create ad or I just like to come over here to the campaigns tab and show you how to do this from the beginning. And then we're gonna go through and hit create here. Now from this point, you're gonna go through and set up a campaign like you normally would. We're gonna go through and do a website conversion for this. And then you can go through and give this a name. I'm just gonna call it test for now so we can get to the part where the remarketing actually comes in play. If you aren't sure if this is the first time you're seeing the campaign dashboard set up, I encourage you to check out this video right here. It's a full tutorial on how to set up the TikTok ads. I've covered all these settings in depth, but I just wanna show you specifically how to run the retargeting. So once you get to this point in the ad group, this is where you can actually go through and select your targeting. We're gonna make sure we select our pick here and then the optimization event we want to get more people to purchase and then if you scroll down here to the audiences you can see that there's this one for include and if you click on this include option you'll see here is the option to run page view last 30 days which is the audience that we created that is now populated inside there so we can click on that it will give you an audience size here now you can see that this is says it's too narrow three to five thousand but chances are for remarketing that it's almost always going to say too narrow and because this is remarketing it's almost a good thing that it's it's a little bit narrower because these are people that we know who are interested in our website they know who we are because they've been to our website they've viewed our products and so don't let that scare you into running this that's the great thing about remarketing is you don't need massive budgets in order to see really good success with this because the audiences sometimes are a little bit smaller. Now from here, you can go through and add more targeting if you would like to, uh, but generally I just keep it to the actual audience itself. You can go through and exclude audiences as well. This is a good option if you wanted to create a purchase. Everybody who's purchased, you can go through and exclude them there. Just another tip. And then from this point, you can go through and set your daily budget. The minimum to run a campaign inside of TikTok is $20 a day. So we're gonna run this for $20 a day. And then from this point, you can go through and hit next. And then it takes you to the ad creation process where you can go through and upload your ad and you're ready to go. Once again, if you aren't sure about this process or actually going through and building the campaign, check out this video right here. It will walk you through that entire process. And then from here, you can go through and you can upload your video, add your text, and then add the URL where you want to send people and then submit your ad. And you are now going to begin remarketing to anybody who has visited your site in the last 30 days, or depending on whatever audience source, you're gonna go through and run those. And that is the final step. We've now completed our retargeting video. If you wanna learn more about how to set up your TikTok ads campaigns and scale them, be sure to check out this video right here. We'll see you in the next one.